Zero FXP. I had a question. How do you scan when you're using the HF mode? So to get into the sort of radio receive SSB HF mode, you'd normally just press your zero. If that doesn't work for you, then we're going to just go in and just make sure you program that button to be a radio. So it's worked for me. We've got the antenna connected. If we just go menu, oh, it's back out completely just to show you. Menu, the blue button, look for key define. So just go down, key define, select with the blue button. And I, I, I've set zero, which is the first one, look. Uh, select and just make sure it's under radio, okay? That's fine. So now when you press and hold, it will take you to the, remember it's receive only, SSB. And um, to select the modulation, very important, you need the pro model to do HF. You go menu, look modulation and just choose lower sideband, upper sideband, whatever you're going to do. So at the moment we can see the red, the little red line or the little red triangle arrow if you because it's next to the frequency we can actually type a frequency so let's go zero seven one six zero lsb like so and we can hit the star change the step the bandwidth lna and the fine tune back there we look for some activity now, someone asked me, can you scan? That's what this video is about, really. I'm not really busy on there today, but scanning is done by pressing the hate, the hash. Now, I find that scanning on HF is it's quite a funny one because of the way that the audio and the modulation sort of comes and goes, doesn't it? And peaks and, and stuff. So, I'll do it again. There is a seek function. Whether it's any good is another matter. I mean, it's not very really busy bands. Let's just let that run. It's gone down a bit. Um, so I'm not really sure what you can do. But anyway, um, if you go down, let's go zero, seven, then um, o seven one, and we'll do. We'll go to upper side band because that's getting us near the FT8 which has always got activity and then we'll just go up to see the way it's near and then we're going to tell it to scan see if it just finds the the FT8 that's always busy it's fantastic radio VHF UHF airband it hasn't really moved does it <laughs> so I'm not really sure the scans any good but there it is there FT8 you get any app to decode that, and it will. And it's quite... If you hold, hold the up, it will do that. And it's an SDR HF chip. I tend just to do that, but I mean... In your area, you'll find that the frequencies that are busy on HF tend to be the same ones most days. And you can just go menu, memory channel, and then when you find a frequency that you you know it's busy quite often, just save it. And when you back out, memory mode. And see these names that we've added. It doesn't know it's on 80 meters. I've added the names in the CPS software. Look at under the radio tab, not the normal radio, which we're in now. And the reason we're showing all CB is because we went menu, down to radio set, menu, work band, and we'd selected 18 to 64, did we? No, it was the other one. Yeah, 18 to 64 gets you the CB bands. If you select now the one beneath you're back into the other bands it restarts you hear the relays click which is pretty cool actually superman boot up pitch very easy to install and now look we've got i've got cb airband which works really well by the way 70 cent how have i managed to get that in there because you're not really meant to have in there you turn it off hold down the down arrow turn on it's gone now and i just turned it off let's do that again so it reverses what you do when you do it each time. Um, let me see if we can get it in there. Oh, 
to go to the B, press the A, B, C. 0, 2, 7. Ah, it's not letting me now. That's typical, isn't it? Let's try the 8. There's another one where you hold down the 8. It's typical. it's typical that it now it's not letting me do it when it was before. Let's try again. Hold down the down arrow. Ah, it's done it now. All band test mode. Now it lets me do it. So there you are. The down arrow, it's got to say all band test mode. You can reverse it. Fantastic radio, broadcast radio. It's even got a scope. Where's the scope on this? There's the scope. Um, GPS, if there's a lock, I don't think there's a lock at the moment, is it even turned on? Oh, it's red, is that, let's, let's try it, press and hold the back, no, press and hold the VM, there's, no, there's no lock, but when there is a lock, you get all the APRS showing up, and it works on APRS, you've got to learn how to program APRS, and there's learning to that, backlit keyboard, big battery, only about 60, 70 pound, to me, pound for pound, best radio ever made, bye for now, 7-3.